Hey everybody, welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to talk about chord decorations or things that you add to move through your chord changes. And as a by way of demonstration, I'm going to use my song Blessed by Love, which you can link to right here. Uh, or here. I think it's here. Anyway, doesn't really matter. There's a link in the description below if this if my pointing has not led you to this video. Anyway, the point is this song uses the chord C, F, and G7. It's a very simple song, but it's all it's the way that we move through the chords that is interesting. So let's start with just uh, how it sounds. It goes like this. If I was a river, I would flow free, and I could slip past any boulder that's trying to stop me. If I was water, I would flow like that. You couldn't stop me, no, because I'm a natural fan. So basically, the song is, like I said, C, F, and G7. So if I'm going... If I was a river sea, I would flow free. I could G7 anywhere, trying to see, stop me. Yes, if I was F, I would take to the sea and not be G7 back to sea. So, just a lot, you can hear that it's, it's the same thing. So what am I doing that is making it so interesting? First off, I am finger picking, and I'm doing this kind of arpeggio back here, but mostly what I'm doing is grabbing a melody. So instead of playing my C with my ring finger right here, I'm using my pinky, and I'm putting my ring finger on the E string uh, on the third fret, creating this lovely C5 chord. And then I'm doing a little melody between the first and the third fret. So. On that, that's all on the E string. G7, and then I pull off all on the E string again back to C. Pull off, off that E string, it's all on the E string. Now, my right hand is just, I'm grabbing on that E string, so I'm pinching, it's a whole pinch, and then over here it's, So, the whole point of this, actually, I mean, that's just a great way to go through CF and G7. But really, the point of this lesson is to uh, look for that connective tissue between your chords. Look for ways you can bridge your changes so they're not just a straight chord change. So, for example, if I were playing uh, in, in a G, and I was playing between C and D, I'd be looking for melody notes that lead me to the different changes and the only way to do that is to learn some scales I have to say but you can start by just picking single notes up and down so for example if I'm playing a G string look for everything within two frets of a note that you're covering so I'm covering the second fret 
on the C string, I can look at the 4th fret on the C string as a note. I'm covering the 3rd fret on the E, I can look at the 5th fret on the E. 2nd uh, fret on the A string, I can look for the 4th fret on the A string. Those are all wonderful, and of course, I know if I'm going from G to C, that that 3rd fret works, so I have this built-in melody right there. Without, no, without any knowing any scale, because I just know that I'm covering those notes, so it works. So, have some fun with looking for that connective tissue. Look for those ways to make melody notes move through your changes, so that you can play something that's a little more beautiful. Hey everybody, thanks for taking time to watch my video. I just want to remind you that these videos are made free because of my Patreon subscribers. So thank you to everyone who's following me on Patreon. If you haven't heard of Patreon yet, follow the link down below and see if it's for you. Basically, you pay me to create these free videos that you're watching now. And in exchange for that, you get some extra content videos that is just for you. Anyway, thanks and we'll see you in a couple weeks.